What's up, Sunny Health and Fitness? My name is Luis, and I will be your instructor for today's boot camp style workout. So we got 30 minutes, half on the bike, half on the floor. We got two blocks today. So we're gonna be splitting it up. We're gonna repeat each block twice, and then we'll cool it down, all right? So go ahead, we're gonna get started on that bike with a nice little warm up. Strap those feet in, hands come into second, and let's get this party started. So we're gonna start with a nice little warm up. Right here, we're just starting to roll those knees forward. Keep those thighs nice and tight. Shoulders are down, chest is forward. Nice and tall, core is tight right away. So making sure you have just a couple turns on that resistance. You want it to feel nice and light, but we still wanna be pushing against just a little something here. You wanna start for about 70 to 90 RPMs just to get that body warmed up, all right? In a second here, once we start getting that blood pumping, you're gonna have the option to add a little more resistance. So, can you add a little bit more? One tiny turn, even if it's a little bit, to the right, and then keep rolling through. Nice. Just that warm up. If you've been sitting all day, maybe at your desk, this is your chance. A lot of times when we're at that desk, we, are, we tend to be slouched, right? So think about keeping that spine long. You're going after the goal. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the saddle in three, two, one, your hands come up to third, sit it up. That Your glutes are hovering one inch on top of that saddle. Knees still rolling forward. Can you hold that pace, 70 to 90? Hips are back, nice and long. Make sure we're breathing. Just like that. We're here for 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna go for one final push in this warm up, and then we drop it down to the floor. So you're gonna sit that seat into the saddle. You're gonna pick up that pace in three, two, one. Hands come back to second. Push that pace. Think about going 10 to 15 RPMs higher than you were. Now we're just picking those legs up. We're really getting it fired up. Let's go. Whew. Nice. Make sure we're breathing right from the start. Never hold that breath. Keep it going. You have 10 more seconds. We're going to finish this warm up on the floor in five, four, three, two, one, start to slow those legs down. Woo! Nice, all right. Nice little light, warm feeling in that body. Press that center button to stop and then slowly unclip, slip those feet out, drop it down to the floor. We're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna start with some inchworms. You're gonna walk it down. You're gonna walk it out high plank position and then you're gonna walk it back to those feet. So just activating those shoulders, activating the core, hold that high plank here. Now, if you want it, you're gonna add a little push up. Push up, you lower the chest, lift. You can always drop down to those knees on the push up and then lift it back up. Beautiful, just like that. Nice, one more. You're gonna walk it out into that high plank position. From here, drop it down onto your forearms. You're gonna go little hip dips. Hip, dip right, left. Activating the core, activating those obliques. Just give me five, four, Three, two, one. Slowly press yourself up, walk it back into those feet. Big bend in the knees, roll the body up. Oh yeah. Woo, a couple shoulder rolls right here at the top. You're gonna go ahead, go for a back lunge with a twist. So step it back, you twist over that front leg. So right foot front, you twist. Waking up that torso. Getting nice and low, back knee is at 90. Getting those muscles activated. We got that heart rate up a little bit. Now we're warming up those muscles. One more. Nice. From here, standing tall. Hands behind the ears, just nice and light. Cross body crunch. Activating that core, keeping that chest tall. You're here for 10 more seconds and then we're gonna get into block one. Block one is gonna start on the floor with that kettlebell. So, we're gonna grab that kettlebell in three, two, one, grab that kettlebell. First exercise, back lunge pass through. You're gonna step it back, you're gonna pass through, and switch. Keeping that chest tall, shoulders down, back knee goes down at 90. Now, because we're passing through, we're forcing our legs to get low just a little bit more, right? All the way down, you're here for 50 seconds at a time with 10 seconds of break in between. So we have a little less than 30 seconds here. Whew! Good. From here, we're gonna hit that upper body in just a little bit. Keep moving. 
When you lower, make sure that tailbone is tucked in. Make sure those glutes are engaged. Nice, slow, and controlled. You're here for 10 more seconds. Starting strong, team. Let's go. Make sure we're breathing. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, second exercise right here. You're here for 50 seconds, so 25 on each side. Nice, long diagonal with that body. You're gonna pull the elbow back and row. Let's begin. Pull, drop. So right here, elbow stays close to that side body. We're going for our rows. Focus on the lats working right here. Pull that shoulder really back. That spine is long. Try to keep it down at that 45 degrees. Remember, you're only here for 25 seconds and then we're gonna switch that side. We gotta even it out. Can't have one arm stronger than the other. What? Let's go. For three, two, one. Quick transition, drop it low, row. Same exact thing, that core is tight, that navel is tucked in towards that spine. This is the strength portion. After this, we're gonna jump it onto that bike for a two minute ride, all right? That's it, breathe. Exhale up, slow down. Exhale up, slow down for three, two, one. Let it go, oh my goodness. Okay, we're getting back on that bike. A lot of back and forth today. Get yourself strapped in nice and quickly. We're going for a two minute ride right here. So we're gonna start with a nice little jog and then we're gonna pick up that pace, okay? So when you're on there, start to ride. We're just seated in the saddle. We're gonna stay in the saddle this, for this two minutes. Soft elbows, nice long spine, one more time. Core is tight and those hips are back. Whoo! Now, check in. Can you add a little more resistance? Take one turn to the right. Start to pick it up, just like that. Now there's two minutes we're working on that speed. So we're gonna try to aim to bring it up, 10 to 15 RPMs. All right, do what you can, listen to your body. First push of the day, three, two, one, let's go. 10 to 15 RPMs higher, rolling just a little bit faster. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Everything is nice and light, knees rolling straight forward, eyes on the prize, let's go, yes. 15 more seconds right here. Make sure you're breathing. That breath is that energy. Let it come in and out as needed. Let's go. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Back to that pace. Think 75 to 85. Maybe 90 if you're feeling a little crazy today. <laughs> nice and steady. We're gonna do that one more time. All right. Check in, how you feeling? Yes? You always have that option with the resistance, right? You just wanna make sure that if you feel like your knees are flying, you want them controlled. So maybe that's a sign to add a little bit more resistance on there. We're gonna go for that second push. In three, two, one. 10 to 15, can you bring it up 20 RPMs for this last push? After this, we drop it back down to the floor. We're gonna repeat that same thing that we just did. Push it. 15 more seconds, can you pick it up just a little bit more? Let's go. Work those legs, press those heels down into the pedals. Last 10. Make sure we're breathing. You got it, four, three, two, one. Woo. Okay, slow it down. Take your time to slow, and then press that center button. Take it off the bike. Unclip, slip those feet out. We're gonna repeat that again. So, big deep breath in, big deep breath out. We're gonna go same thing, back lunge with that pass through. So go ahead and grab that kettlebell right here. Find a nice center spot on your mat. Back knee goes down nice and low. We go in three, two, one, pass it through. Nice and low. Now you also have that option with the weight, right? Don't cheat yourself. If you have a heavier weight, if you're like, you know what, last time was a little too easy, Pick that heavier kettlebell up and get after it. We're slow and controlled for this portion. We got our cardio, we got our heart rate up, and then we get to control it back down. Working on toning those muscles, really strengthening right here. You have about 20 seconds left. Every time, can you send that back knee down low? Just one inch off the floor before it touches. Good. 
Eight more seconds. Couple more. Breathe. Four, three, two, one more. And let it go, nice. Okay, we're gonna go into that row. Now, depending on your row, on your weight, maybe you turn it into a wide row this time. We go in three, two, one. So, wide row right here. Again, if you're like, holy guacamole, my weight is heavy, which is not a bad thing. Keep it in that, in that narrow row, all right? Just a little challenge for you. You're only on this side for 25 seconds. Keeping those shoulders down, still focusing on that shoulder blade and those lats doing the work. You're gonna switch it in three, two, one. Switch it out, other side. Drop it down. Again, your option. Wide row is that challenge. Keep that elbow close to the body if you need to. Oh yeah, you guys. Exhale up, inhale down. Really slow the motion down. 10 more seconds, come on. Let's go, let's go. You got four, three, one more. And let it go. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Getting back onto that bike. One more two minute ride, and then we get a break, all right? This is almost the end of block number one. So, once you're on that bike, big deep breath in, shake it out. Hands come on the pedals, start to ride. Whew. Nice and steady. Back to that jog pace. Now, this time, can you pick that pace up just a little bit more, right? So think about it. If your base was 70, maybe you go 75, maybe you go 80 right here. So just start at that base pace a little higher than you started before. You already know what to expect. You already know what it feels like. So let's just get after it. I know you can do it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, in a little bit. We're gonna go for our first push. I want y'all to sprint it out this time. Everything you've got, 30 seconds. We go in three, two, one. Pick it up, everything you've got, come on. 30 second sprint, stay focused, stay in it. Squeeze that core, knees rolling forward. Make sure we're breathing. Remember, breath equals energy, come on. Yes. You have 10 more seconds. Do not slow down, do not slow down. You got five, come on. Three, two, whoo, back to that jog pace, come on. That's it. We got one more of those sprints, one more. And then you get a break, all right? Let's go. Stay nice and steady, just like that. Oh, baby, baby. Sunny health and fitness, I know we like to work hard, so. That's why we're doing it. I know we're capable. Come on. This is where that mentality comes in. You gotta keep telling yourself yes. We're gonna go for one more push. Three, two, one. Push. Last sprint, last sprint. Cross that halfway line. And then you get to recover. Come on, come on. Let everything be nice and tight. Minus those hands and those feet. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. 10 more seconds. Stick with that pace. You got it, five. Don't you dare slow down. Come on, four, three, two, one. Woo! Give yourself a little pat on the back. What's good? Halfway in, okay. Start to slowly roll those legs. Let it slow down nice and slow, nice and gently. Maybe shake it out, a couple shoulder rolls. Wheel out the arms when you're ready. Take a stop. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, grab a sip of water, get off that bike, whatever you need. You got 30 more seconds right here. And then we're gonna get into block number two. So for block number two, just to show you what that first exercise is gonna look like, you're gonna grab a, your dumbbell or your kettlebell, you're gonna go for a swing. So most important thing, you send the booty back first. I'll show you from the side. Booty back, soft bend in those knees, you lift, lower and lift. All right, so keeping that core tight, hinging at the hips. So think less down, more back. We go in three, two, one. Glutes back, squeeze, down, squeeze. Let that focus follow naturally. You want that spine to stay nice and strong from the tailbone to the top of your head. Everything lowers and lifts at the same time. Squeeze the booty at the top, squeeze. 
squeeze. Okay, y'all, come on. Peach season every season, cause why not? Let's get it. Squeeze, do it for the peaches. Keep breathing, exhale. Yes. You have 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Everything you've got. Oh yeah. All the way, keep breathing. Three, two, one more. Slowly drop that weight down. Oh, do a little booty shake for the peaches. All right, here we go. Exercise number two, you're gonna grab that kettlebell. Nice steady stance, you're gonna go halos. We begin. So just grab that weight, start to roll it around. Halfway through, we're gonna switch that rotation. Your shoulders are down, your neck is long. You wanna go ahead and keep those elbows close to that side, or to the temples, to the head. But of course, you gotta protect that money maker, you know? So please, be careful with this kettlebell. Can't have nothing happen to that face. Three, two, switch that direction. Work in the triceps, so the backs of those arms. I like to say tries before guys. Sorry, fellas, but we're here, come on. <laughs> Let's go, almost there, 14 more seconds. <sighs> Last 10. Keep that upper body still, try not to rock forward and back. You got four, three, two, one. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, we're getting back onto that bike. You already know. But this time, we're working on our climb, so we're really pushing that resistance. So, as soon as you get on that bike, I want you to give me a good four to five big turns to the right. Your legs should feel like they're really pushing through mud, right? We're climbing up that hill. If you're on that bike, you're really pushing up that hill. You're at about 55 to 65 RPMs. So just start by pushing, heels down. Good. Still trying to keep those knees rolling forward. With that resistance, a lot of times we wanna start to flare our knees or move around, but try and keep it nice and steady. Good. Now our challenge here is, to gonna be, is going to be to climb, keeping that pace out of the saddle. So your hands are gonna come up to third and you're gonna push it in three, in two, and in one. Hold that pace, hands at third, my seat is back, hovering over that saddle just one inch. Really climb, up that hill, come on. Woo, let's go. That's it, that's it. 15 more seconds. Again, chest is tall, focus forward. Eyes on the prize, let's go. Bring in that fire for three, for two, and one, sit it down. Oh yeah, okay, right away. We're gonna do that one more time. One more turn to the right. Pressing those heels down. Woo, check in, can you add a little more? Oh, what? We are really pushing it through. You're gonna stand it on up. One more time in third, and you're gonna give me everything you got. You know if you're pushing that pace or that resistance right now. Are you pushing that resistance? Can you add a little more? We're going in three, two, one. Ooh, digging through that mud. Let's go, let's go. Yes. Last little push here, and then we drop it back down to the floor. Climb up that hill, nice and strong. Check in, is that light grip there? Try not to hold on too hard. Nice and light, you're here for 10 more seconds. Breathe, where's that core? You got three, squeeze, two, one. Woo. Slow it down, you know the drill. Press stop, drop it down to the floor. We're gonna do that one more time. So close, y'all, so close. We're starting with those dumbbell swings. Again, if you have that heavier kettlebell, now's your chance. All right, do it for you, nobody else. Come on, show them how it's done. This is where the baddies come out. This is where we show them how it's done. You're gonna go for those swings. Remember, first things first, send the booty back, soft bend in the, in the knees. We go in three, two, one. Squeeze, squeeze. Where are my baddies at, where are my baddies at? Come on. Nice and strong. Shoulders stay down. Now that kettlebell doesn't need to go crazy high as long as it comes up to about shoulder height. <sighs> Control that swing on the way back and on the way forward. Try not to let the kettlebell control you. Try not to let it lead you. You are leading it through that path. 
up, down, up, and down. The second we let the kettlebell control us is the second we throw our back into it, right? So avoid that, keep that core nice and tight. That navel is tucked in towards the spine. You have five, three, two, one. Oh yeah, okay, getting into our halos. Tries before guys, let's get it. Hold that, hold that kettlebell nice and strong. Now, upper body, try to avoid it moving. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, baby, baby, push it. Come on, and push it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, here we go, keep going. Woo! You're like, please, just stick to teaching. Oh my goodness. We're here for 25 seconds, and then you're gonna switch it up. Squeeze that core. Now, if you're having trouble keeping that upper body still, first, switch directions. Switch directions. If you're having trouble keeping that upper body still, give yourself a soft bend in the knees and tuck that tailbone in. Yes? Why do I say that? A lot of times when we're standing tall, look, stick my booty out. Bend the knees, tuck that tailbone in. It helps neutralize that spine just a little bit. You're here for seven. Sometimes we want to show the booty off, but that's for after the workout. You're here for three, two, one. Woo! Okay, let it go. Get onto that bike. We're getting back into it. You know the drill, we're going for that climb. Push that resistance. You know if you're cheating yourself. So really give me a couple big turns, depending on where you're at. Maybe you already have that resistance from last time. But if you wanna add a little bit more, add a little bit more. Start to roll those knees forward. Yes, pushing through. Right here. Start to get those legs readjusted. This is your second time through and your last. So everything you've got, everything you've got. Let's go, push. 65 to 75. See if you can up it just a little bit from last time, right? Breathing through it. Woo! Now here's a trick. Your legs are like screaming, right? They're like, ah! Your face, you wanna be like, mm-mm, this too easy, okay? So just keep that mentality going. You got it, come on. We're gonna get out of the saddle. In three, two, one, let's go. You want that game face on. You wanna be nice and steady. That's it, you're only here for 30 seconds. Think about it, it's only 30 seconds of your time. 30 seconds of your day. Come on. Last 10. Keep pushing those heels down, rolling the, the knees forward. You got four, three, two, sit it down. Okay, last one. So close team, come on, let's do it together. Whether you're riding at home alone or you're with a partner, I got you, you're right here with me, we're together, we're in it. So you're not alone, all right? Come on, had one more turn to the right. I know, we're really pushing through. All right, final push. Sitting it up, nice and tall. Hips stay back, we go in three, two, one, let's go. Sunny health and fitness, come on. We go hard or we go home. All right, you might be home, but that's besides the point. Keep pushing, let's go. You're going hard. That means you only got one option. Go hard, go hard. Dig through, dig through. All the way to that finish line, only 10 more seconds, let's go. Oh, baby, baby, we worked all this way. So don't give up. You got three, you got two, you got one. Oh my goodness, pat on the back. What? Maybe brush the shoulders off, okay? So go ahead, slow it down. Take that resistance off. Nice and light, back to it. Still keeping a couple turns on there, but oh, let those legs roll down slowly. We're just gonna cool it down now, right? This is the great part. We just did all that hard work. We're gonna thank that body. We're gonna give it some love by stretching it out. Our muscles are nice and warm, so this is the perfect time to do so. When you're ready, Make sure you're seated back into that seat. Press the hands off. Just stand it up nice and tall. Give me a couple shoulder rolls to that back wall. And then to the front. Shoulders to ears, just releasing any remaining tension over here. Give me one big neck roll down and around. Ear to shoulder on each side. And then switch. Good. Nice. From here. Go ahead and grab one arm, place it in the middle of that back. Pull it over nice and strong. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. 
and then slowly release, let it go. Switch sides. Hand is in between those shoulder blades, pull it over nice and strong. Good. And then slowly release. Okay, hands back on those handlebars. Go ahead, one foot in front of the other, stand it up nice and tall. Navel in towards the handles, lengthen through that spine, nice little cobra. Oh, maybe you twist to focus right, and then focus left. Holding on nice and tight, bring it back to center, hips go back. Hands at third. Really lengthen through the back of those legs, lengthen through that spine. Stand it up nice and tall, switch that lead leg, other side, and then pull it back one more time. Pressing those heels down. Ooh, stretch it out. Slowly bring it down, sit it into that saddle. Take those feet out of the bike, of those pedals. Drop it down. We're gonna go ahead and stretch it on the floor. So, laying it on down to the mat. You're gonna go ahead and lay on your back. You're gonna go ahead and hook that right ankle over that left knee. Pull that left knee in close, and then push that right knee out gently with that right elbow. So feeling the stretch all down that right hamstring and glute. Good, and then slowly release it when you're ready and switch sides. So left ankle hooks on top of that right knee, bring it in, gently push that left knee out, feeling that stretch in the left hamstring and glutes. And then slowly release, let it go. Grab the backs of your hamstrings, rock it forward into a nice seated position. Swing it around, take the hands on the floor, send the hips up to the sky, zip tie those feet together behind you, press the heels down into the mat, down dog. Pile out the feet, bend one, bend the other. Gently drop the knees down to the floor. One more little stretch right here. Send that right leg out. Drop it down onto your forearms. Really getting into that right hip. Gently rock it forward and back if it feels good. If it feels better to hold at a specific spot, feel free to hold. And then press yourself up. Good, bring that leg in. Now, switching it over to the other side. Left leg comes out, drop it down to those forearms. Sink it into that left hip and then rock it forward and back nice and gently. When you're ready, press yourself up, bring that knee in carefully. Sit it up nice and tall. Let's take one big deep breath all together. Everybody, big deep breath in, arms up. And exhale, let it go. Give yourselves a round of applause. Way to crush 30 minute boot camp. Done and done. Ooh, peach season, don't forget, every season. All right, you guys, hope you had a great time. I will see you guys next time. Love y'all.